Everyone wants to know what to eat to lose weight, and many people ask the same questions every day. So in this video, we're going to learn what to eat for breakfast, snacks, lunch, and dinner to help promote weight loss. So what should a day's diet look like? It's recommended that women wanting to lose weight should stick to an allowance of 1,400 calories a day and for men, 1,800 calories a day. It's important to start the day off with a good breakfast just after 7 a.m. So try hitting 400 calories if you can, but don't skip breakfast. Skipping breakfast can mess up a person's metabolism, slowing down the metabolic rate by 25%, and the body needs those nutrients and fluids in the morning to get started. Make sure your breakfast calories can 15 to 20 percent of protein which is about 13 to 20 grams of protein great sources of protein include eggs dairy products soy milk protein powder in smoothies nuts and seeds and whole grains 45 to 55 percent should be devoted to carbs about 40 to 55 grams skip sugary and overly processed foods or those made with enriched white flour and choose whole grains fruits and veggies Finally, 30 to 35% of breakfast should be fats, about 10 to 15 grams. Instead of saturated fats like bacon and cheese, go for monounsaturated fats, also known as MUFAs, like avocado, olive oil, nuts and seeds, and the butters made from them. Lunch. Keep lunch lean between 12.30 and 1 p.m. A healthy lunch keeps the energy levels up for the rest of the day. It's recommended lunch be no more than 450 calories. A healthy lunch example is a boneless and skinless chicken breast served with fat-free Italian dressing, tomato slices, seasoned breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, some angel hair pasta, and a handful of green peas. Carbs. Go for 50 to 65 grams of carbs, which is 45 to 55 percent of your lunch calories. Avoid refined carbs, like foods made with white flour and white sugar, and go for whole grains, whole grain breads and pastas, and starchy veggies and fruits. Proteins. Get 20 to 30 grams of protein, which is about 17 to 25 percent of your lunch calories. Great sources of protein include beef, lamb, fish, chicken, and others. Fats. Including healthy fats in your lunch makes your meal more satisfying. So strive for 13 to 18 grams, which is 30 to 35 percent of your total lunch calories, including healthful sources like nuts, seeds, oils, avocado, and olives can help beat sugar cravings later. Dinner between 7 and 7.30 p.m. can be fewer calories, so aim for about 300 calories. You don't want to feel too full before bed, so go sparingly on the carbohydrates and fill up on protein, especially that found in chicken which aids sleep and vegetables. 45 to 55 percent of your dinner calories should be devoted to carbs, which is about 50 to 75 grams, and 20 to 25 percent should be protein, which is about 25 to 35 grams. For fat, aim for at least 8 grams at dinner time. This should be coming primarily from the fiber-rich carb choices like whole grains, starchy veggies, beans, small amounts of fruit, and fiber-containing fats such as avocado, nuts, and seeds. If you stick to 400 calories for breakfast, 400 for lunch, and 300 for dinner, then you'll be able to treat yourself to two 100-calorie snacks throughout the day and still leave an extra 100 for any milk and tea or coffee throughout the day and fruit too. There are 52 calories in a small apple, 53 in a pear, 59 in an orange, and 89 in a banana. It's a good idea to have fruit with your morning and afternoon snack. But as fruit is high in sugar, it's best to limit yourself to three to four fruits a day. Other great healthy snacks for weight loss include veggies with hummus, sliced fruit with low-fat yogurt, a handful of walnuts or almonds, low-fat cottage cheese, air-popped popcorn, hard-boiled eggs, baked tortilla chips, salsa, fruit shakes, or smoothies. Along with having a great diet, you should focus on becoming an active person. Dieting will definitely help you lose weight, but if you combine it with exercise, it will be all the better for you.